Hey, what's up everybody? It's Sam here with your Business Boost video. Now, I know it's Mother's Day, I know it's Sunday night, and I know this is Business Boost video number two for the day, but I got goals that I have to achieve by the end of the week or I'm highly disappointed in myself. So, this is the second video today. I had to double up, right, because we went to Manila and I didn't have a chance, I did miss out a day. So, this is my chance here to actually make up for that particular video, and this is a topic that I really, really wanted to talk about. Uh, that is the, the one that I posted in the messenger. I also posted it on my story on Facebook, right? Because I wanted to try and get as many people here as possibly can because this year I wrote What is wrong with this sales funnel, right? So we're actually gonna get into some legit marketing here, right? We're, we're, we're gonna go a little bit deeper than we typically do, okay? So for me personally look, looking at this and for any of you who, who can bring up the uh, the image and have a look at it yourself you may or may not disagree, but before I go into this, here's what I want to say to set the premise. This is why you need to be careful of pretty marketing, right? Because marketing can catch us in so many ways. I've, I've been caught before, right? So I'm not talking shit about anyone. Where I've fallen for like a really sexy uh, uh, images, right? Or well-written sales copy or, you know, a very dramatic video that's caught my attention. And the problem with that is that you end up falling for the marketing rather than the actual product or what it can actually do for you, right? So if you just look here, like, right? So just at an, at an initial glance, it's a very nice looking graphic, right? And, and you look at it, if you're new to marketing, you're looking at it, you look at this and you go, wow, this is fucking awesome. And you're like, it's actually got points about generating leads, improving conversion, repeat business, and, and increased revenues, which sounds kind of like a, a good little business plan, but quite frankly, <laughs> this is wrong. It, it really it really is and yes Jimbo you're right we've all been there it's all part of the learning curve right man so I'm not again I'm not here judging right I'm I'm, I'm here to, to teach what I've learned right based based on following some true leaders and doing some courses that are worth a lot of money right so my first my first issue with this like I said is the fact that the graphic is attractive and so a lot of people will fall for it and think that it's true just because one it's on a graphic and two because it looks great Right, but it, that doesn't mean shit. So the, the stages, yeah, the stages I agree with, right? Generate leads, improve conversion, repeat business, and increase revenues. Yes, I agree with that. But the stages are wrong, right? What, what they've actually got put in place. So like email marketing, right, is, is, is stage one of generating leads. Yes, but it does not improve conversions. What you need to do is you need to improve your conversions to get people into your email uh, email marketing funnel, and then you use your email marketing to improve your conversions. Here's why, and that's the main thing that I wanted to talk about. And the stage three is kind of unnecessary because it talks about systematize the follow up, and frankly, you don't need to do that. You, I mean, yes, you you can put a, an email sequence in place initially to <clears throat> to help you to uh, what's what's the word systematize the follow up is what they say here in your sales funnel but you don't necessarily need uh, a third stage. That should be part of your email marketing platform as part of improving your conversion in the first place, right? And from that, will increase your sales because here's, <clears throat> and here's what I really wanted to talk about in this particular video. I've already pointed out what I feel is wrong with that particular graphic in terms of the, the sales funnel that it's got in place. Now, what exactly is a sales funnel? A sales funnel is very, very simple. It is simply a process that you take people through from where they are to buying your product. That's it, don't, don't get it any more twisted than that. And here's why I like talking about funnels. Overly complicated funnels are ridiculously overrated. Right, there, there are people out there selling done for you funnels for forty thousand dollars. Forty thousand dollars, like, are you are you kidding me? You could create your own funnel, right? That works just as well. You could model theirs, which would take you one day to do. You could create it yourself for a hundred dollars a month, a hundred dollars a month, right? Compared to forty grand, and you don't even know if that funnel is going to convert for you and your product and your systematized process. I've used the um, the igloo, uh, the iceberg analogy before, and it's very true for here as well, where we look at it and go, oh, it must be the sales funnel. Oh, it must be the sales copy. Oh, it must be the email marketing. No, it's everything. Everything affects everything else, right? Like, so what you put on your website, what funnel you put people through, the email marketing in which you do, your social media, your video trainings, your blog posts, it's all one big part 
of the puzzle and people look at the whole they really really do the people that kind of fall for it yeah I get that and that's where that's where these gurus make their money and where we need to be careful and why I enjoy educating myself so I don't fall for that shit for number one but two so that I can bring these kind of videos to help people out that's what I want to do I want to help people with their business I want to help them avoid the tens of thousands of dollars that I've wasted over the years following those kind of pipe dreams because they don't exist guys opportunities come dressed in overalls which means you need to be willing to put your ass to work okay so the second thing the other thing uh, the email marketing right in terms of lead generation email marketing is not used for lead generation you generate leads for email marketing okay so they, they put that here on the top when quite frankly this is more like stage two and three right so email marketing is so important and how you go about doing it is you make it conversational email marketing is not not for selling your shit directly right you can sell yes and you do need to pitch this is business that's how you make money but the way you do email marketing is like what we call a daily a Seinfeld right the Seinfeld email what that actually is is like uh, when, when uh, Jerry Seinfeld if you remember that show very very popular made a ridiculous amount of money very very uh, successful show the way they did it, the way they pitched it to the to the thing was was they were like, oh, you know what we're gonna do is we're just gonna get a bunch of friends together and we're just gonna make a a, a show about whatever. And they go, well, what's what's the outline? Like, what, what are they doing? What are they working towards? What are, what about this and that? And they said, we're just gonna make it about nothing, like just a bunch of normal people just going about their lives, and we're gonna tell the daily stories that come with it. And they said, no, there's no way that that's gonna work. That's not gonna work. It just no, not going to do it. And they said, trust me, it will. And it did. It's one, it was one of the highest grossing TV shows in the world. And here's why. People resonate with stories. People connect with characters. Yeah? That's our advantage as small business owners, as solopreneurs, as online marketers, compared to corporations like Nike and, uh, and, and uh, sorry, sorry, McDonald's and um, things like that. Because they're such huge corporations, they don't have the time to connect with people personally. So they have to go for the cool thing, right? They have to look cool with all their marketing. That's why they have athletes um, advertising what they do. That's why every every ad that like Coca-Cola puts out, it's on some freaking Caribbean island with, you know, really hot girls and really hot guys having a lot of fun. But so that when you drink that bottle of Coke, you've got that positive association link there. But for us small marketers, you know, we don't have the money nor the resources, but what we do have is personality. We can connect with people on a on a one to on a one to one basis, right? And the way we do that, number one, is social media, right? But once we get people onto our email list, now we've got them one on one. Then they're not on Facebook with thousands of other people trying to share their stuff, right? Where one minute they're they're reading something valuable from you about marketing, and then the next minute they're reading about, um, you know, like what ice cream someone had on this particular day because it was really hot. Like, I mean, who really cares? So with email marketing, once they open that email, it's you and them. That's it, right? So you gotta make that email conversational. You have to make that email private. You have to share value. Quote unquote, infotainment. You have to provide information, but you also have to be entertaining. Because in doing so, you're gonna provide value, then you're gonna connect with people on a personal level that's gonna make them want to do business with you. So that when you do pitch, right? you're not coming across as, as some dude who just wants to sell their shit, right? Because I've been on email lists where that's all they want to do and it's really, really frustrating. And sometimes, you know, especially us uneducated ones, the ones who haven't been around long enough, we fall for that hype, we fall for that BS and we end up spending a lot more money than we should, aka the 40 grand on a, on a, on a sales funnel? Are you kidding me? Really? 40 grand? Are you, like, I don't know how these people do this and sleep at night. I really, I, I don't understand it. Whereas like, I've been part of, of one-on-one -on -one mentoring that was only, only $5,000 that changed my life. Changed my life, right? And it continues to impact me to this day. So, look, sorry, I know I went off on a tangent there for a little bit, but I get a little bit passionate about these topics because it kind of disappoints me like the way some of this market works. Um, and there are a lot of people out there doing a lot of good things, but then there's also a lot of people who stoop a lot of people. And as a result, our market, it, it gets a bad rap, right? It gets a bad name when really there are people out there doing great things. So again, there is something wrong with that sales funnel. Watch this video, go back and check out that image and you'll see for yourself exactly what I'm talking about. Perhaps maybe prior to this video, you would have looked at it and gone, oh, well, that looks really cool. That's a great idea. I might model that, right? 
Yep, that, but don't, don't let that happen. Watch this video, go and look at it and you'll realize that actually lead, uh, lead generation, you generate leads for email marketing, not through email marketing. And then you use email marketing as your conversions, which then increases your profits. So that's the power of email marketing. That's the power, that's the true power behind it, is being able to convert those people on a conversational, one-on-one -on -one basis. Like, honestly guys, if you go and read my blog posts, if you go and read my emails and you watch these videos, you'll get the same vibe from each and every one of them, yeah? Because what you're gonna find is that my message is I'm trying to be as consistent as I possibly can. This is where come, we're staying true to yourself and who you really are deep down inside, your personality, your passions, your hobbies, your loves in your life, it's gonna come across. And if it doesn't go across all the channels, there's gonna be a disconnect at some point. People are gonna go, see, it's full of shit. This guy's full of shit. I knew he was full of shit. They're gone, right? And they'll go end up spending a dick load of money on some sexy friggin' sales funnel or beautiful graphics, right? With someone who's disingenuine and just trying to make money from them. All right, so look, I hope this video provides you some sort of value. Uh, Jimbo, yes, absolutely. Too much money wasted on junk. Man, I made the mistake, man. I must have spent probably like 20, 30 grand over the years, man. And, uh, and I, I was disappointed, really, really disappointed with just about everything I invested in. Um, and it wasn't until I found our mentor, you know who I'm talking about, bro, who really started turning things around for me. And it, it, meant, it meant the world to me, it really did. It, the, I, I spent probably 10% the amount that I spent over those seven years, right? But in seven months, I've come further and only spent, only invested 10% the amount that I did, right? Then that's because of the, the shift in my mindset, the shift in my spending habits, right? My willingness to focus on work as opposed to buying done for you bullshit, right? So don't worry, man. It, it, it is what it is. Like you said, it's, it's part of the journey. We all go through it. And that's why I want to put this content out there. I want to make a difference in people's lives. I can help you save 50 grand over the next five years. More importantly, I can help you save five years over the next five years, right? Just by getting a couple of things right can make a hell of a difference and that's in, therein lies our value. We can share our experience from the money we've wasted, the time we've wasted, the strategies we've done that don't make, that, that don't work, right? And that's where we can really make an impact on people's lives, right? So thank you so much for stopping by and watch this Business Boost video. Happy Mother's Day again to all the mothers out there. You guys are fucking legends. I love the hell out of you. Much respect, especially to the single moms, Love you guys so much. I feel like a single mother because <laughs> over the past one year, like I've been a single father, so I feel like a mom and a dad. And uh, it's, it's, not hard, it's not easy, man, I tell you that much. So much respect to all the single moms out there that are out there doing their thing, doing the best they possibly can to support their family and provide a lot of love and doing everything that they can do to raise good kids. All right, so take care, everybody. I'll see you again in tomorrow's Business Boost. Peace.